Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. We're back. <laughs> Did you miss us? <laughs> we missed you. <laughs> Welcome to season three of Keeping Up with Sophia and <laughs> Kalechi. <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. Um, guys, we are back and we have got a really, really exciting summer essential Charlotte Tilbury Summer Essentials Masterclass, um, which includes Charlotte's summer sales. So, so there's some really exciting um goodies, goodies. treats. Yeah. There's loads. Ah. And I'm joined here. So I'm Sophia Tilbury. I am a celebrity makeup artist um, and I do product development at the brand. And then I've got the talented, incredible, amazing Kalechi, who is also a celebrity makeup artist. And there are so many other job titles in your name. That we do. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch. But um, I'm always so excited to do these masterclasses with you. Same so, though. We have got, we're going to start with skincare. We're going to keep this quick and speedy. So yeah. we're going to start with skincare. Um, we're just waiting for some of you to come on. Um, but what are you going to start with, Kalechi? I'm going to start with, do you know what? I've been loving, should I tell you what I've been loving recently? Yeah. Welcome, Thank everybody. You. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Wherever you're coming in from, say hey. Drop us a little shout out. I am going to start with a bit of Magic Hydrate Mist. Love. I am loving this so much at the moment in the summer. It's like a drink of water to my skin. It's kind of like, I feel like it allows my makeup and my skincare, like it welcomes my skincare. You know, kind of like analogy, you, know you, you wouldn't do your dishes with a dry sponge, like you yeah. need to wet it a bit. I yeah. feel like this is what this is for my skin. Like I need to put it on, then go on to my skincare. I just like to just add it on at the end just to get some extra hydration it's too. It's like, Look, it just instantly... I don't even have time to do my skincare. I just want to quickly put something on. I'm like, this and yeah. everything, I'm done. Like, that's yeah. it. It's like your lazy girl skincare routine. So it's great. Literally, really love fun. that. Love that. Okay, so now that's on. Next, what are you going to move on to? Your favourite? This is my favourite. And you know what? Still agree with that magic serum. <laughs> I've been raving on about this product since the moment it came out like this came out in lockdown right in lockdown which is the best time it could have ever come out so I just yeah. wrenching my skin with this and Kalechi's always loved it but then Kalechi came to me the other day and she's like do you know what I'm just like even more obsessed with it now you know like because you I'm know like, I'm I, never, I'm I, I was like like you said you know you're a bit lazy sometimes you skip some you know and this yeah. is where it's like I'd really be my full routine to do it and I'd skip it I do not skip this, babe. I do not. Like, yeah. I am right there with you. Like, if if Magic Serum has one fan, it is me. If Magic Serum has <laughs> no fans, I'm no longer on the earth. Like, this is, it's it's incredible. It's like, amazing. It's so good. It's just it's instant so good. hydration. It's like instant hydration. And you know what? Like, there's so many serums out there that they're quite gel-like. They kind of peel off your skin. You feel like mm -hmm. they're kind of sitting on top of your skin. They're not like, it's not like your skin has just drank it. It's just like sitting on there. So like this, for me, it's like, I always say it's like I've drank five liters of water when I put this on just because my skin literally just eats it up. And it just adds the most incredible glow. And also it's not too oily. It kind mm -hmm. of looks like a moisturizer in a serum. I'd yeah. Say. And it's then more sticky. It really absorbs well. It yeah. really absorbs well. Like you don't get exactly. that feeling on your hands. You know when you put on like some skincare sometimes. Like, oh, we've got to go wash my hands. Yeah. You don't get that feeling at all. It just absorbs so gorgeously into the skin. And again, with that hydrator mist underneath. What we always love. And what Charlotte really prides herself in is basically having, you know, the top to market, best ingredients, best products that there is out there. But she really cares and she really listens to the need states of, you know, of your everyday person. So when me and Sophia were working product development, we're always like, what does this need and what does this not need? And, you know, how is it going to feel? And you have to think about the efficacy of this product. And this just performs so well. It doesn't peel. It doesn't roll. But no. it just gives you what you want in an instant exactly and like it's just got such gorgeous ingredients like i'm not gonna name you all of them but i'll name you one of them it's got niacinamide in it which for me is just like such a great ingredient to have because i have the worst pores ever um but this is one ingredient that really kind of helps to kind of reduce the appearance of pores so like as you wear this you'll realize your pores are smaller um which i love and it's just got loads of hyaluronic acid in it and it's just 
it's the most hydrating gorgeous serum and i don't like you said it's just like i believe in the power of layering with skincare so like even though i'm quite lazy at times i have to say as i'm getting older i am like so on my skincare routine yeah. right now morning mm -hmm. and night morning and night like in my early 20s i'd be like just a bit of magic cream that's it I'm yeah fine. that's it and, out the door and now I'm like, no, I need my full step routine. And it's not huge, by the way. It's still small. It's just a few products. But now I'm like, I don't skip my serum ever. Yeah, ever. ever. I'm right there with you, girl. Okay, so next, we're going to move on to, I feel like you're about, I knew it. I knew it before I said it. I was like, we're going to move on to magic cream. But I just knew she was going to give me a little surprise. And you're going to do magic <laughs> cream. I know you love water cream now, don't you? But magic cream, <laughs> it, she's still our child. She's still our child. We still love her. So yeah, I'm going mean, to do magic cream and Sophia is going to do magic water cream. Both amazing, but yeah. both completely different. You know, my skin in the summer sometimes gets dry for an oilier girl. So I always feel like I need to go a bit richer. And for some reason, in the winter, I get a bit more, you know, I, I produce a lot more oils, which is so mm -hmm. weird. So then I go to magic water cream. So I think sometimes it's what's your skin needing. Do you need kind of that cooling? Yeah cushion of moisture or do you need something more breathable more you know like I mean they're both breathable right but like for me like you know for Charlotte example like she says she has a skin like the the, the but a Gobi desert <laughs> yeah and I'm like your skin's amazing but she uses both because yeah. they've got both different ingredients so Charlotte likes to layer and she uses both um I am I love magic cream but honestly I have just become so obsessed with magic water cream mm. i just love the hydration it gives to your skin it's got this bounce to it it's not oily it's just like this hydrating cream that just kind of sinks into the skin and the glow it gives yeah, the texture is insane on magic water cream i just oh. love it you, it's just like it's, it's water for your skin it's literally just water for your skin and I just love the glow it gives. But I can show you guys just, and also like anyone that I do makeup on now, it's like that magic water cream is just the best thing I've ever used. Same. I go and do celebrities. They're like, I'm not going to name who, but they're Name like, them, girl, name them. I'm, I'm not allowed. I think they have a contract. <laughs> <laughs> but they're like, can you bring three? Because I need to give one to my hairstylist. Oh my god! Like so obsessed. It honestly, like I feel like with this product, like anyone that tries it is like hooked. addicted. Yeah. Hooked. Yeah. And by the way, I am such a magic cream girl as well. Like I love magic cream. And like you said, for like the right time, when you, how depending on how your skin's feeling, my skin's super sensitive, very red combination. And the way for me, the past few months, I've been using magic water cream, and then occasionally magic cream in the evening when I feel a bit dry but this it's just like look my skin I mean I look at the glow on both of us okay okay what are we going to move on to next I'm gonna just spritz like I said I love to use this just I think I'm gonna do the same I want to experience and then, Ooh. honestly and then I just kind of tap that in lock it in oh divine and I just it's crazy. Do you know what? I never thought I needed an hydra a hydrator mist. Like this, this is the thing with Charlotte is that she comes out with a product and you're like, do I need to add that? Yeah. Like, do I need that? Like, I'm happy where I am. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh my God, I, I really did need I that. I do. This I has changed my life. That. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I'm not, like, it really is. And it's a game changer. It's not like it makes a little difference. It makes a huge difference. Look at that glow. It's like... Yeah glass beautiful just like sparse skin 100%. like you've literally had a facial and all you've done is three products that's insane and you know, it's for men and women like my boyfriend everyone loves, can like wear my it. boyfriend loves this in the summer he just like wax it on this and magic yeah. water cream are the two things it just steals from me the whole time yeah really <laughs> yeah well, he's like, okay let's move right on into okay. complexion I'm going to be doing Beautiful Skin um, Foundation. Oh. We love her. She's babe. She's fantastic. Um, I always like a bit more, you know, I'm still, regardless of the time of year, I need coverage, girl. So <laughs> in the summer, I go medium coverage. And in the winter, I'm like full coverage. 
So I'm going to go for more of a medium coverage foundation. And this literally is kind of like your beautiful skin. It's the best skin that you'll have. You know, it's it, it just looks like you've got gorgeous complexion every single day of your life. And what are you going to be using? I love this when you use this on Jordan as well. Like, love, love. But like I she's love this on this. you That's too. Like insane. this, this product on your skin and the Jordan skin, I'm just obsessed. Like insane. It looks like. Flawless. It just looks so enriched. It's yeah. like balancing. You don't know, like, it's like, do you have it on? Do you not? Like, it literally yeah. just looks, it looks absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And it suits everyone. It's got 20 fantastic, 30 fantastic shades from literally very fair to really deep. And there's a shade for everyone, which I love. Okay. I'm going to be using the Unreal Skin Foundation, which, well, ah. Unreal Skin Glow Tint. But it's a foundation stick, but it's a sheer foundation. So if you love Hollywood Flawless Filter, you're going to be obsessed with this product. Guys, mm -hmm. I am obsessed with this. Like the way I was saying it on the press day, we were with Charlotte, Kalechi and I. And it literally just gives you like angel skin. Like yeah. this gives you the most like angelic, glowing, gorgeous skin. Um, and it's really sheer. And like a lot of the time, I know people are put off by foundation sticks, but this, this isn't your classic foundation this stick. This is game changing as a foundation yeah, it, stick. It's literally, and I'm using shade six. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do one side and I'll show you. But you can just literally whack this on like this. I like to focus it on my high points and then drag it in. And then I just use a magic complexion brush just to buff it out. But the good thing about this, I feel like with beautiful skin, you have to kind of match your shade. Mm -hmm. Whereas with this, it's like depending on what look you want. Do you want more gla glass? glass? Do you want more glass skin? You can go for a lighter shade. Do you want to be a bit more tanned? You can go for a darker shade. Like you don't have to match your shade perfectly. It really depends on what look you're going for. But you can see the instant glow this gives. And I know this isn't in the summer sale, but I just wanted to show everyone just because we just launched this. It's so amazing. And I just feel like everyone. It, it's actually the summer accessory. It's the accessory of summer to you know that literally like you've been on a juice cleanse you've come back from a holiday like it's just so insane like the texture sets in literally seconds like it's this gorgeous self set you don't have to do a lot of work for this product to perform for you it's so so gorgeous so stretchable and honestly guys it's like it's been people are going crazy for it it's literally like is your skin like what's going on like it's unreal. Literally, it's, it's, it's unreal. unreal. <laughs> and look, I've done half, so I wish, I know I put all the skincare on before, so it's going to still look quite glowy. But look, so here, you can see how it's just added this gorgeous kind of glow, but also it's taken away a lot of my redness. Mm -hmm. which I, and then here, it's not, do you know what? My skin is looking quite good at the moment from all the skincare I've been using. I'm not going to lie. But like, even Charlotte's like, I know you've got something on. I'm like, I haven't. It's just <laughs> magic water cream. Like, it's genuinely just that. Um, But you can see how it just gives you this gorgeous natural finish. And what I like about it, it is so different to what we have as well. But this is my go-to at the moment. This is like my everyday. Like, I'm using it every day. And also, I also use the darker shade of this, the bronzer, which is a really nice little hack. Mm-hmm for summer especially when you want like i feel like sometimes with bronzers they can be a bit powdery a bit cakey um and I, when i just want just a natural finish so i used natural finish yeah oh love all done literally looks like i've got <gasps> nothing on i love applying it with the beautiful skin bronzer brush as well it's just like the ultimate especially in the summer when i really want it to melt into my skin and i don't want it to look like i've got that much on this just buffs it out so beautifully you can literally just like press it into your skin so this is like a double hat brush for me from when i could literally just melt this into my skin and you can't really see where it starts or where it stops it just gives you such a gorgeous evening out to your skin it's like a, the most wearable i i literally feel like I've got nothing on, which is what I think I really, really love so much yeah. about beautiful skin. It's I agree. Just... I honestly, I love beautiful skin foundation. Like I, yeah. use it, like I use it on everyone. Like I've been yeah. using it on 
Phoebe Dilliver is obsessed yeah. with it. She won't even use concealer. She just loves to use the beautiful skin foundation. Wow. She's got gorgeous skin, but like yeah. you can really use it, like you said, when you use it with a beautiful skin um, bronzer brush. If you use that just to buff it all over, it really gives you that kind of natural finish, which is really mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. But and I use that foundation on Salma as well, because Salma oh, was wow. like air fed. Yeah. And then the last few months, she's like, let's try this one now. And then now she's like, else. yeah, That's yeah. It. It's oh, so wow. cool. it just gives you just like such a gorgeous, like flawless finish, but in such like a natural way. And when you wear yeah. it, you don't feel like yeah. you're wearing a lot of makeup. Mm -hmm. I find with beautiful skin foundation, it feels very yeah. light. Yeah. I love, I love it. Love, um, love, love. Okay, next, this is where we all this change. Oh, we are going to bronze. I'm going to bronze with beautiful skin bronzer. So okay. I'm actually going to take a little bit on my magic brush. Because I want to really diffuse this. I'm going to take a bit here and I'm using number three. And I'm just going to go ahead and start to warm up the perimeters of my face. Like so, in a stippling motion. I also like to bring some onto my eyes. Like that. I love the That's way It's so easy, Sophia. Look how I'm it babe. was to do that. Babe, honestly, how e this is for your quick and easy girls. Like, and also the fact is, is that it's not even just for your quick and easy girls. Like, I am a makeup artist. I like spending time on my makeup and I go and use this and it's like my makeup's done in seconds. Like on my skin, my makeup is done in seconds with this. It's like, you don't need to spend 15 minutes to like get your whole foundation on. It's like match your shade, put it all over, get a darker shade of bronzer, and I've just used the shades. I've used shade six to match my skin tone. And I've used shade 10 as a bronzer. And I just buff it in again with the same brush. And it is just so easy. And it just gives you, it's like I've spent, I feel like with my skin now, it's like I've spent like 10, 15 minutes on it. And you have and you've literally spent seconds doing that. I know we're chatting, but usually right. if I did this on myself, I'd be like, ding, 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 done put a bit on, buff it out. It's just so quick and easy. And I think that's why, that's what's so great about Charlotte's products is that anyone can use them. You know, you mm -hmm. don't have to be a makeup artist. Like they are so quick. And look, I love the way you bronze Kalechi. Like this is like art. I contour and I bronze. I always yeah, use, yeah. Like, I'm just going in this with a little brush and I'm literally just going to sculpt out my nose. And guys, honestly, do not be scared to snatch and contour your nose. Charlotte's products always, they're so creamy, they're so easy, and they just do all of the work for you. That the texture just does all of the work for you. So I know it might look a bit crazy and it might look a bit scary, but I promise you, you're just going to blend that out. So I'm just going to use the other end of my Hollywood brush. And you don't want to move it so much because then it's all going to go away. And you just want to press it in to the skin like so i love it and so you just want to stay where you are and if you want to you can go in with the other but can you see i'm like kind of tapping in a little bit i'm not moving the product as much just because you need to keep that shadow there the whole point of contour is for it to be visible you know, visible in a natural way, but you do want to see, you do want to be able to see, you know, the effect of the shadows that it's creating on your mm. skin. I love using that as contour. I love it so yeah. much. So good because the colors are so neutral. And yeah. so, you know, they're not like too orangey. They're not That's like, you know, red. Too red. they're gorgeous yeah. colors that just really work well, really beautiful, neutral colors that actually work well for you to contour with. Okay. I think that's the difference. It's like when it's a makeup artist's own brand, it's like the shades are just so on point. Like 100%. there's so many bronzers out there that are like too yellow, they're too ash, they're too red, they're too orange, you know? But like with Charlotte, it's just like the shades just match everyone so well because like you said, they're so neutral. Um, so you can contour with them as well as bronzing with them, which is great for a bronzer. So I'm just going in with a bit of my color corrector, which I love. I love, I do this trick on everyone. It's basically like a peachy shade and we've got four different shades of this. And um, I like to use this just underneath my eyes. So where you would tend to get a lot of blue, I just put this on. It just really helps to kind of brighten up that area. 
And then on top of it, I will use a bit of concealer as a brightening concealer. But just to kind of counteract that blueness, I use the peachy shade. And that really helps to kind of brighten up that eye area. Because a lot of the time, even when I'm out, and people are like, oh my God, you're a makeup artist. What can I do to kind of help my under eyes? And I'm like, just use a color corrector. It makes you a color corrector it makes the world a difference, right? Because like just using a concealer, concealer's there to brighten and conceal, but it's not there to kind of, it won't help enough with actually taking out any, you know, discoloration or like dark under eyes. So if you use that to counteract the color, then it really does work. And it's just one of my favorite tricks, to be honest. Um, and that's something I really do spend time on, like before going out, like I won't just put my concealer on. I will put my color corrector on with my concealer on. You'll do the whole, whole steps. Yeah, this is gonna be yeah I love you older, see, your huh? under eyes. It's like the, the most sensitive area of your skin is your under eyes, where you age the fastest. So it's just like, I always like to spend a lot of time there. And especially just with Charlotte's products, because they're so hydrating. They don't sit in the fine lines. You still look really hydrated. Like, so, so I I'm just put on my concealer. Oh, sorry. No, just no, on my no, concealer. No. And I always like to let my concealer set for a second. This is something I've been doing recently, just giving it, you know, 20 or 30 seconds before I blend it out. And I just feel like, it's a good way to get like a medium coverage concealer to be a bit more fuller just by letting it work for you letting it sit a bit more to get a bit more tacky before blending it out that way sometimes if you're someone like me because I wear a lot of concealer and whenever I go to blend I feel like oh it's moving like it's moving up if you just let it sit when you come to blend you will find that you have a lot more control and mm. you're able to blend it kind of in the spots that you put it on so mm, I'm just I like that sit there for a second yeah it's something that I don't know who I picked up from, but I was like, this is just such a good hack to know. Because if not, your concealer always ends up traveling, you know, towards like your hairline. I mean, like, as a, I'm like a natural girly. Like, I like, I'm very clean girl makeup aesthetic. Like, that is my vibe. I love it. So, like, for me at the moment, I love to just use a bit of the Unreal Skin and just a bit of concealer that that's my vibe at the moment that's what I've been using um so I've just gone in with a lighter shade underneath my eyes and I've kind of used it around my nose area underneath the eyes a little bit on the sides of your lips because as you age as well this kind of goes down so if you put it here it just lifts your lip up a little bit around the forehead and then I've used a darker shade on areas where I have blemishes but if I don't really have many blemishes, I won't use a concealer. I'll just let the Unreal Skin do its thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then what I like to do is I, I love using I love using the Magic Complexion Brush because when my skin's good, I just like it to naturally just be very soft-focused on the skin. Now, mm -hmm. if I'm having a bad skin day and my skin's really red, my rosacea's flared up, my eczema's flared up, I've got spots then I will use the brush that Kelechi is using to really stipple that in and let it really set. But if I'm feeling like my skin's looking good, I feel like the way I like doing makeup is I always like to enhance people's beauty. So if your skin's already, already looking good, just there's no need to cover it up. Just, you can just enhance it. But it's Whereas I'm the opposite, I'm joking. No, but it also depends what makeup look you're going for. Like, are you going for the thing? No, you're so right. You're so right. I play too much. <laughs> you're so right. Like, you have to, the whole essence of beauty is you want to make people feel good and look good and mirror confidence, you know. And, yeah, like, we just Everyone's like to got, <laughs> no, but everyone, Everyone's got different, like, makeup styles. Like, when I do Salma, Salma likes more of a beat. I love the I'm way like, you do Salma. You Sama give her loves a beat. Thanks, but she loves a beat. Like she likes, you know, foundation, concealer, powder, like lifting, sculpting, contouring, bronzing. Like she loves, and she looks good with it. She looks so beautiful naturally, but she also looks amazing with with a beat on. Whereas me, I don't love a beat on myself personally because mm -hmm. I feel like I don't suit it as much. So I go a bit more natural, and occasionally I'll do a bit more of a beat. I'll just amp it up. But it just really depends on the style you're going for and what yeah. suits you, you know? And that's what I love about our products is the fact that you're able to be a full beat girl like myself, 
100%. or you can kind of be you know a natural girl like Safi these yeah. products work either way you know it's just exactly. all in the application it's all all about how you apply it and that's what I love it's the fact that we're two completely different I mean you know we love makeup but we're equally two completely different yeah. styles of makeup we wear and it just goes to show how amazing these products are so versatile. we're able to you know really yeah. make them work for you and really make them high perform which is 100 percent. look makeup. we're using the same concealer you know and like it's working for both of us as yeah well. so you can layer these products you know you can kind of go in between colors without being worried like, is it going to look too, you know, much? You can really just go to town and do and just trust that these products are made to really work for you and to really perform for you, you know, as as you would want them to. OK, 100%. so in a good place, looking lifted, snatched, brightened. So okay. now I'm going to go in with a bit of powder. I'm using my favorite thing in the whole this I, is my favorite thing in the entire uh, world. Too. My favorite thing. <laughs> this powder is like, honestly, like I always joke, I think if I was ever like on a desert island or something, I think like I'd rather like lose my phone than like lose my powder. Like this is just my holy grail. I do not go. I'm sure everyone like let us know if you love this powder, but we are obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This is my favorite. Like you said, like it's my favorite thing. Like, Okay, yeah. there's two things that I love. It's lip liner and powder. Like, there's mm -hmm. the two things I just cannot live with. Always, without. always, always with you. Like, yeah. completely. And what I love about this powder, huh? No, it, they just make such a big difference. It's big like difference. Jordan was telling me the other day, she was like, she went to, she was at um, a thing in, in St. Bart's and, you know, this other makeup artist did her makeup and, you know, we're girls who like beats. And she was just like, you know, there was nothing really wrong with the makeup, but like, it just, I just knew something was wrong. And she was like, Kalechi, I literally went on this holiday with two things, like, because I just thought I was going to have, you know, just like skincare. I was yeah. going to wear makeup. And then they offered, she was like, the only two things I went on this holiday was with was my powder and my setting spray. And she was like, when she finished doing my makeup, like, I didn't want to be mean or anything. So I was like, I just know I had to go fix it. And she was like, I just went back to my room. I took my powder and I was like, boop, 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 boop. She said, I set my face with my setting spray. And she was like, it was literally like magic. It just like yeah. awakened the makeup. It just made her feel like herself again. I was like, babe, that's all I ever need. It's just yeah. a bit of powder. Like, yeah. it's game changing for just yeah. blurring, smoothing, snatching your face. 100%. I feel like I've got so many girlfriends that are like, I don't like powder. Like, no, it makes you look dry. And I'm like, guys, this powder isn't like any normal powder. Mm -hmm. It's like you said, it blurs, it's smooth, but it's also hydrating. Like, it doesn't give you that cakey look. Like, it just makes you look more flawless, but still hydrated at the same time. Yeah. What and you just you put it, I just put it here in the areas. You see that? You where it up all of my texture, you can kind of see. I just go in with it in those areas, and it literally just brightens and lifts and snatches. Look at that. Down the T-zone. I love look that trick. That. Oh my God, it's insane. Like, it's insane. Look at all that texture that I have here, all of that. And it just disappears right in front of your you eyes. Know what? It's like, I'll never, I've seen this trick, guys, like 50, 100 times. And every time I see it on you, it just never gets old. It's, it's just like, it's so insane what it does. It's so insane. Like, I love it. Like, look at that. Just look, it literally just snatches. Like, it's like I just become a completely different person. It just takes my makeup to like a whole new level. And I put this everywhere. And that's what I love about it. Like, you can apply, 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 and never, ever get worried that, you know, you're going to feel a bit like you've got too much going on. No, like, this will never, ever feel like that. It will just forever just give you that gorgeous airbrushed smooth without effect which is what i I'm love it obsessed with it just obsessed obsessed yeah, i put it just like underneath my jawline a little bit just to kind of oh, oh i love that just to kind of a bit more with that. it's like a non-touring trick um 
but oh, yeah. I just love how it just sets everything in place and just Honestly, I don't know how people don't use powder. It's me neither. A mystery to me. I'm like, me even neither. if you're a natural girl, like, put the powder on, put it on, put it on. And then what I like to do at this step is I like to go in with a bit of my setting spray just to kind of lock everything in where I've gone in with powder, just to kind of have like a, you know, a, a middle ground of like setting. So once I've done all of my complexion products, I would just go on with a layer of setting spray, let that sit, melt my makeup a little bit together, just give me a bit of radiance and glow back mm. onto my face before I then move on. I go back in with makeup. this, babes. Mm. I go back in with the Unreal Skin Foundation and the bronzing shade, and I will just kind of go over the areas just that I want to look more, more glowy. On, and then it just... After the powder, if you just add a bit of this on top, it just gives a bit more of the glow back, but also a bit more of the bronze as well. If I feel like I missed it, if I didn't put enough on after the powder, I'm like, okay, I'll just add a little bit. Okay. Back. okay. Get rid of that again. And then we're going to go on to eyes, guys. It's eyes time. What are you going to be using on your eyes? I'm going to go really gorgeous, really fresh. I'm going to be using uh, the Ice to Mesmerize and Star Gold. This is kind of one of like those products. I love the way you always talk about this. It's like your one swipe wonder. And you yeah. literally go in with a bit of your finger swipe and you are out the door. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a bit of my bronzer. and I'm just going to run this on my lid just to give me a bit of contour to my eye so for me i'm gonna go in with the beauty verse palette i love this palette it's got such great shades in here because these first three shades are your neutral tones which is what i'm going to be using today which i love i love a neutral eye like the espresso trend is my kind of eye i love it um anything with like neutral browns to give you that kind of kate moss eye look like her everyday eye look like these are her tones so like anything like that it's just like my go-to so and, and on anyone in general like just to kind of use these neutral tones as a base before applying a color or a cream um i always like to go in with these so i'm going to go in with these three shades mainly focusing on this taupey taupey shade um and then I'm going to go in with an isomers like Eucalacci just on top. And then I'll just go in with this pinkier shade just on my lid. Um, but I'm just using a blender brush for this. So I'm going in with the top shade. Also, this palette is in the mystery box. Um, and there's so many amazing products. And we're not allowed to reveal everything that's in there. But I can tell you guys that this gorgeous palette is in there. Um but what I love about these palettes is that they're so buttery and creamy and just easy. Again, they're so easy to blend and create a gorgeous eye look with. But I love all the shades in this palette. Such good, such amazing shades. It's literally, Charlotte was calling it the palette of trends because it's literally had so many trends 100%. in the palette. It's like your summer, it's your all round palette you know you've got your espresso your latte your kind of barbie core your futuristic girls all those kind of trends that we all love you can achieve that with this palette and that's why i love so much about it because it's something that can take you from summer to spring to winter any kind of it's there's always something you can wear in there which i think is really gorgeous so just going on with a bit of star gold now and i'm just gonna put that on my lid like this i'm just using a little square flat it's actually a lip brush but i love it for kind of painting on um look at that Ooh, oh my god this is isn't gorge that, isn't that so pretty like, and then I like to go a little bit i love so pretty so easy so effortless literally like makeup in seconds like That's what you want right you want it just to be in the pretty. summer you want quick you know you want something that's going to be like in bish wash done that's all you want you want something that's not going to take a lot of time for you 
to achieve. This is what I love about the ice to mesmerize. And it literally is just like ice to mesmerize. They're stunning. Okay. I am, I'm using, I am using just the first shade of um this palette. The beauty first? Yeah, the beauty first. I'm using the first shade, the talky shade. And then I've just used that as like a natural smoke on my eyes. So you can just kind of elongate it and just give yourself like a naturally contoured eye. Then I go in with a bit of this second shade and I just tap it onto the lid to give myself a bit more of a bronzy look. But I just love, I just love the texture of Charlotte's palettes, like, cause they're just so buttery and creamy and just so blendable. Like I've, I have to, I have to confess, I bought a palette the other day that wasn't a Charlotte Tilbury just because I <laughs> all over TikTok. I was just like, I need to get this palette. I, I work with Melina who works with me a lot and she's here actually. So we, I said to Melina, I was like, I need to buy this palette and like we need to try this out because it's been all over TikTok. It's like a neutrals palette. I just wanted to see what the hype was all about. And babe, I bought this palette and it was... And it was it's terrible. It's like cakey, it's dry, it's talky. And I was like, what is the hype about? Like yeah. it's made my eyes look old. Like I actually like lines that I hadn't had before I suddenly had. And no. the hype on things just aren't really it. Like it just isn't. It's um, not. But with Charlotte, it's like all her neutral tones are so buttery. They're so creamy. They're like just really useful on your eyes. Like as you get older, like I'm not old, but it is, it's different being 31 to 20. Like they're different. <laughs> and um, it's just like, it just makes my eyes look more useful. So actually investing in great eyeshadows and having those really smoothing textures just make a really big difference. Um, so I've just added that. And then, like you said, look how fast you are. I'm going to be really fast now. Hey. I'm using ah. more gold and I'm going to go with my finger because it is that easy. It's that easy. Look, that instant highlight. And look how much bigger. Just so pretty. They're so beautiful, these. And you can wear them on their own or you can wear them on top of what I just did, just like doing a natural contour on the lid. But rose gold for me, if you've got a wedding coming up, if you're a bridesmaid, if you're a... Like, if you're even a bride, this is just the most stunning, romantic, beautiful shade. I just love it. Even just for every day, you just going to look your best with this rose gold shade. It is so pretty. I think all of the Isomer shades, they come in such gorgeous, everyday wearable shades. You've got like, you know, kind of rose gold champagnes, like this kind of russet golds you know more warmer berry golds you know like oyster colors and it's just a color to suit literally everyone and they are just so easy and like foolproof like anybody can do these and literally do this in seconds so now i've just done a bit of an eyeliner with the classic uh brown pencil again another goodie another easy pencil you saw how quick that was and if you kind of just want it a bit more smoky a bit more softer I just like to take a little brush, just kind of draw on your wing, and then you can just go out and smoke that out and just pull that out. It's that quick. I love that trick. I love that little brush for an eyeliner trick as well. Right. It's like that I just put it on my ends, and like you said, you can go in with that brush and just smudge it and elongate it if you just want it to naturally kind of wing out a little bit. Like it's so easy. We're just really staying close to the lash line like this, nice and close to the lash line. Don't worry too much if you don't have like, you know, a really sharp end. You take a little brush or you take a Q-tip and you just smudge that line in place and just drag it out. It's that simple. And look, you end up with a gorgeous lifted sharp line. Okay. Quick. So, so, so easy. Baby, your eyes are looking gorgeous. They look so pretty. They're Those colors like, your eyes look so green. Yeah, honestly, these shades, like, just for just quick and easy makeup, this is just my, this is like my everyday go-to kind of look. Like, it's just easy, it's quick, really pretty shades. I've got the natural contour with the Beauty Vast palette. I always, I use these every day, every day. 
And then just having that highlighted shade on my lids, which just makes my eyes look so much bigger. It's such easy, quick makeup that literally anybody can do. Anyone I mean, with the Pillow Talk lashes mascara, I love this mascara. Like, I'm obsessed with it. I just did a bridal series last week, which is going to be coming out very soon. Um, and I, I, I use this mascara on every single bride. Like, that's how much I love this mascara. It just separates each lash. It's buildable. You can wear it throughout the day. So even if you want to do a natural eye for the morning, when you finish work, you don't have time to go home. You need to give yourself a little bit more of an extra makeup look. You can kind of build up your lashes. And it's just a very, like, it's got this jet black color to it. So even if you're wearing like a smoky eye, your mm -hmm. lashes are going to shine through that black smoky eye because of the, because of how black this mascara is. Yeah. But it's stunning. And I, like, I just like, for the summer, I just like doing a light wash of this. I like to keep my eyes looking quite fresh. So I just do a light wash. Maybe to people, people are like, that's not a light wash. That's like my evening. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I just like, I, for the evening, I just like to layer it. And then for the day, I just like to add just a few layers. But I just love this mascara. Such a good mascara. I like to take it vertically like this as well and just go down and paint all of my little kind of bottom individual lashes because it just gives you better control and it's got this really nice tip that you can just kind of go into and just you know comb out every single lash okay and eyes are done eyes are done what should we move on to next lip should we do lip then finish off with cheek okay love that so for, and this is where we get into the goodies, guys. This is where we get into the goodies. For <laughs> my lip, I'm going to be using my favorite. I mean, not that you, like you guys know that it's my favorite, but I should probably tell you it's my favorite lip liner to ever exist. It's Foxy Brown. It's like a gorgeous caramel brown shade that just really contours your lips in like the most natural way. Um, I this, this like a uh, brown girl, black girl favorite. Like it's so gorgeous. I mean, anyone can wear it, but if you're kind of you know someone, if you're a bit more deeper and maybe you're a bit more afraid of wearing nude lipsticks because you think actually that doesn't see suit me, all you need is a gorgeous brown lip liner, and you just need to kind of create a little barrier for yourself. Just outline your lip, and I promise you. Any nudes, the lightest of nudes, the darkest of nudes, you will see that like that, any nude would be able to suit you. So just invest in a great brown lip liner. And for me, it's um foxy brown. I never ever go anywhere with no, that. That's what's so good about it is you can use that and then add whatever shade you want. On mm -hmm. it. mm -hmm. It's like your new it's like the neutrals with the eyes. It's like yeah. neutral, it? literally it's that it just contours your lips. I'm using my all-time favorite girl, which is my Filler Talk Medium, which for me, it's just the most amazing lip liner. I just think it just really, like you can see I've got half and half on it and it just like instantly just accentuates my lips and it gives me this kind of gorgeous rosy tone to my lips, but also it's not too rosy. It's still kind of that neutral pinky brownie color, but it's just such a great lip liner. Like, this is, again, apart from the powder, this is, like, my Desert Island product. Like, my <laughs> medium lip liner is, like, my go-to. And the way I like to lip use this is just kind of cheating the bow of my lip a bit more and then drawing back to my natural lip line. And it just gives me full, gorgeous pillow talk lips. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I done mine more on the outline like that. And then now on to a goodie for you guys. So I'm going to be using the airbrush um, lip in shade Honey Blur. This is such a gorgeous kind of summer, you know, mm -hmm. beautiful, you know, warm kind of terracotta nude, which is so gorgeous, the texture of it. It's so beautiful. 
Babe, isn't it stunning? And just blends it up. Huh? The, Amal, Amal Clooney is just... He loves of, these. I swear Charlotte made these for Amal. Yeah. Like, literally <laughs> made these for Amal. Because with Amal, like, she has a certain lip that she really likes. And Amal loves, like, that kind of cloud lip. And if you guys know what a cloud lip, it's like basically like a lip that hasn't got any harsh lines. It just softly kind of blurs into the skin. And with this, it's like you can wear this with a lip liner. You can have that cloud lip effect where it kind of blurs and soft focuses on the outer edges if you like more of like a soft focus lip. But it's so good. And there's so many gorgeous shades. And I'm going to be using the shade Rose Blur. And this is just a really gorgeous pinky summery shade. And I'm just gonna use my fingers just to really blur that in to my lip liner. That is stunning. And a little bit really goes a long way. Hmm? And you can just go in with your finger and just blur that in. It's so easy. So, okay. so easy guys. And Charlotte is treating you today, so. With the summer sale, when you spend £90, you get this baby for free. I think that is such a good, good deal. Like, no. so easy, so easy. You get a whole full-size lipstick for three. Like, so good. So, so good. So also, insane. I'm, more, like, I'm, like, even more excited the fact that when you spend, what's the second one? It's £140. £140, you get the peach gasm, which is I'm which is what I'm gonna use now. Yes, and yeah. with the honey blur. So you get both of those items for free. The fact that you get a spotlight wand, and especially in the shade peach gasm for free, is insane. Like it's insane. And then if you spend £180, you get my time, my favorite, which is the magic water cream, peach mm -hmm. gasm, and the honey blur. I mean, it's incredible. The deal that just keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to move on to a bit of highlighter. Well, I'm actually using it as a highlighter. It's like a highlighter blush hybrid. I'm going to use pink as them. And I like to, because I always go powder, 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 girly. What I actually like to do is, this is what I do. I put it on the back of my hand like so. And then I take my uh, Hollywood brush. And then I just go in and oh, I oh. stick all that onto the high points of my face. And it's, it's just so got this gorgeous good. peachiness that picks up, like, you know, look, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so good on you, Kalechi. Babe, I love it. It's so good. It just gives you, and it just plays with the light and it just gives you that gorgeous glass balmy skin effect. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do a little hack. This is for like again, like your quick and easy gals. So I am, I'm really between these two shades. So these are the new blushes that have come out. So they are the Beautiful Skin Island Glow Lip and Cheek Blushes. This is Paradise Pink. I've been using this so much recently. Like if you want that, like I feel like that real pink blush shades really on trend at the moment, and everyone's loving that kind of pinky shade but I'm also loving the beach peach and guys I've been using these every day like they are the creamiest like most hydrating looking blushes on the skin they just make your skin just look really hydrated um and with that gorgeous kind of natural flush of color going through so I'm gonna sometimes I mix these I've got both of them in my own makeup like these are in my core makeup bag they're in my kits I use them all the time but like these are in my personal makeup bag as well. Um, I've been using these on everyone. I use these on Rita Ora for the cover I did the other day. I've got a magazine cover I'm doing soon. I'm going to use these again. Like, I know when any requests I get, which is we want beachy, natural, gorgeous skin, I'm going to these. Like, they're the best. So I'm just going in with my Magic Complexion brush. And I'm just going in with the peach shade just because... I don't think this pink is going to really go with this red dress that I'm wearing. So I'm going to go more with the peachy shade. And look at the instant color it gives. It's so gorgeous. Insane. And then what I like to do is go in with my peach chasm. And I just put this 
on my hand, like so. And this is one of my favorite spotlight shades. And I go in with the brush that already has the product in, like so. And then I just tap this in. And it it just gives the most gorgeous, Gorge. glowy effect to the skin. I just love it. And I love this color as well, just because it's giving me just the right amount of color that I need. Mm -hmm. And then I just go back in with my brush on the other side. And then I sometimes drag it over my nose if I really want that, like, I've just been in Ibiza and I got a little sunburn. What I love about these is a little goes a long way. Like a little amount. They're so pigmented. A little dot in. And you can do these with your fingers, guys. You don't have to do it with a brush like me and Sophia. They're so easy that you can kind of take it and just... 100%. And blend it. I feel like with blush, like I don't think it's natural to have blush sitting in one place. I actually think when using blush, you can go over your nose ever so slightly. You don't need to have a sunkiss effect. You can just wash it over just slightly. You can go in with it again and put a bit on your forehead. I don't think blush should sit in one place. I think it could no. be exactly. You could do a bit on the tip of your nose, a bit on your chin, just on your kind forehead. of you know go a bit crazy yeah. with it. That's what gives it, and that's what ties it in together that's what kind of you know gives you that effortless sun-kissed effect 100 percent. and then you again i've been using these on my lips so you can they are lip and cheek they're stunning and you can just use this on your lips i'm gonna do the same i'm gonna put a little it's such a gorgeous look in the center and then Classic me, I'm going in with my powder. Same girl. That's that's put it in the powder. <laughs> I'm going to put this here. Just to set. Just again to diffuse anywhere that you do not want. So and again, those blushes are not in the summer sale, but they're new. So we wanted to show you guys because they are just such for me. They're so, so good. Funny. They're the summer essential. Like, if you want creamy, gorgeous, glowing cheeks, and they're not glowing and glowing either because they've got the creaminess. They haven't got any shimmer going I like on. Just, like, balmy, yeah. really kind of gloss-like texture. You just exactly. see how that just picks up and plays on the skin. And then while we're here, one more time, we're just going to set. Always lock it in for the summer. You want to party all day and stay all night mm. so lock that in what i like to do sometimes if you're really extra while my setting spray is setting i like to be really cheeky and in the spots that i know i get extra shiny i will just go in like here no, I think I'm do the same. with my powder and just lock almost like push that setting spray into the skin and just lock it in and just like That's that I'm we so are done. But honestly, the fact that you get the peach gasm in this sale is just for me, it's just like the biggest highlight because it's like the one product I can't live without. You look so good, Kelechi. Yeah. You You're look good, summer. babe. You're giving summer. We are giving summer, summer, summer. <laughs> I mean, where are we going? Where this are we going? Look. This is my summer look. Like, this is genuinely like, this is the look I feel good in. Kelechi. You look so good. You look good, babe. You babe, look I'm feeling for myself. This is my summer. This guys, this literally is my this is my summer. This is the look I feel good in. You know, this is the look I like I feel my best in. So guys, thank you, thank you so much, Sophia. It's always a pleasure, my soul Thanks. sister. I for joining you. us. Hope you guys learn so much. Remember now, run, do not walk. Go to charlottetilby.com. Get all your summer sales mystery boxes yeah. out. It might be, it, it might even be sold out by the time we're done with this masterclass. 100%. Who knows? But 100%. remember, all your gorgeous treats, you get a full lip blur with 90 pounds spend. These two babies, 140 pounds spend. And if you, you know, want to treat yourself and you spend 180 pounds, you get these two plus the water cream. So go on, have a fabulous summer. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy.
I think it's the mini, but I'm not sure. Is it no, the it is the mini. It's the it's the travel size, but that travel size, literally, you can go on a ten day holiday, uh, and you'll be absolutely fine with 100%. that. That's what I would take with no. me whenever I go on um any trips anywhere. Also, do you know what, guys? If you've been, you know, some people like to try their skincare out before invest in it, so it's a really good, great way to kind of try it out. I know anyone that tries this is going to fall in love with it, though. You're hooked. You're um, hooked. you're going to be hooked. But honestly, guys, thank you so much for watching our masterclass. Please, please, please try these products. Like these are my go-to for summer as well. Yeah. The most amazing products. Um, but thank you for watching, Kelechi. Thank you so much for doing this with me together. I love you. Love you, love you, love you. Bye, love you guys. guys. Have a fabulous summer. Bye.